everyone once again and since that this is another one of those recordings y'all know the drill <sighs> all right so that i can just get cut straight to the chase so last week last week was remotely decent until some bullshit happened on a server that gave me a trust issue and a, a server you know especially at you know like two Wednesdays ago but some bullshit happened and it revolves around online dating in short, I have met that person. It was going all good in all the role plays, whether fluffy or ludy, ludy lewd sex stuff. And they were legal. And uh, and it gone to the point of us dating. And the next day. I was fucking around with someone and they told me you know what I'm not gonna even get into that story the whole thing ended up on the fact that they already had another one and they sent their brother and another one of their friends to literally tell me off in the stupidest way possible without even getting the facts straight or anything and it was the only way that I knew, because they were, quote unquote, uncomfortable. <sighs> okay. And it goes on to the point of real stupidity. But, um, but here's the thing. I thought, legit thought, that one of the people had, we're the one, that one of the people were someone that I used to trust. So I flipped off, so I like, went off and pretty much left the servers, unfriended almost everyone in there. The whole, the whole thing was like the pedophilia situation, but you know. A little bit of a lower budget. And let me tell you. Before this video I was going to be uploading an hour long video. With a huge rant about it. But. You know. It was something else. Right. Uh, but it turned out it wasn't them. It was actually the brother of that um, of that bitch that decided to play me. You know, it eventually got cleared up. But that's not even why am I talking right now. Just a few minutes ago, in my goddamn house, right here, I've been simply given the most, the biggest middle finger that I could have ever been given. And by who? Once again, none other than my family. How? Simply put, I was, I was told by mom to get her, her back. But then I see the little, but I see the little shit. Literally about to drink from, from that motherfucking, um, bottle. You know? 
And while I was about to literally grab the goddamn bottle, the little shit had put the goddamn bottle into the tip of the fucking table. So naturally, it fell down and it was open. So a few amounts of water had fucking fell down. But then eventually, he tells mom and straight into my fucking face. That I was at fault in the whole thing. I don't care. Honestly, I don't even want to remember. Or I don't even care how the fuck he worded it. He made it sound as if I was too lazy to get the water off or do something about it. Not nah, like, nah. Taking the bottle off the goddamn thing. And getting the little shit off the room while getting the bag for mom. Is apparently not a thing to be done. And naturally it fucking. And eventually it just pissed me off. Because I'm sorry. Are you fucking kidding me? Even when we don't talk. You still talk shit about me like this? Like. Should I grab a fucking knife and backstab him? Literally? Like, should I have just grabbed the goddamn knife and backstabbed him while he was walking back to his sorry-ass little room with his big, stupid, fat ass? Like, seriously. It's absolutely abysmal. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? Like legit, if this is how my family is going to talk about me, and it's going to talk about me, then I guess I'm not supposed to be surprised if anyone from the outside world is going to fucking talk to me like that and even more. Right? You know what's even more ironic? That I'm at fault for trusting the fact that they wouldn't talk shit about me. They wouldn't try and mention me in this kind of a stupid way. They wouldn't try and piss me off like that. Since that, you know, we wouldn't talk and we don't even bother for each other. But wow. Straight away. Fucking abysmal. An abysmal piece of shit family. True. And when I scream about it to the walls. Literally. My brother just. The other little shit. Just don't want to bother. To even hear me out. Doesn't want to even bother to lend a fucking ear. And calls me edgy. Sheesh. My 15 year old Roblox addicting. Roblox and Hokkai addicting motherfucker. Does not want me to vent to him. Then who the fuck am I supposed to vent to? The walls? The goddamn wind? Because honestly... <laughs> I have nobody. I have legit nobody. And this is something that that they have been focusing on enforcing it, not even helping on it. Like they don't even try to help. They don't even try to hear me out. It's always do this or you're wrong. Like so if my family is gonna be like this. And where am I supposed to go? Who am I supposed to talk to? Who am I supposed to go to? Where is my alternative to family? What is my alternative when I have no friends, 
Nobody from the streets. Nobody from my building. N none from my remaining stupid relatives. Or even, like, anyone around the world. Then who am I supposed to go to? Chat GPT? Is this how this is gonna go? Chat fucking GPT? Bullshit. Bullshit. And honestly, and honestly, <sighs> this whole thing was a piece of shit thing. Like, they clearly clearly do not even do not even care a single bit like wow like you're gonna talk to me like that cool then don't be surprised if I vent out in the windows and bring all of the goddamn street at you and make everyone talk about you like the asshole you are Cause I'm sorry, but you're a fucking asshole, Dad. You can't even you can't even resist talking and talking about me like a normal person. You can't even resist, you know. You can't even resist putting everything on me. He murdered my sister with that shit. He murdered my sister with that shit in cold blood. Like, honestly, where is my family? Where are my friends? Where am I? What am I? Why am I a human? Why am I still living until now? What the fuck is wrong with this goddamn house? Legitimately. My god. This is how you become an Arab? No thanks, bro. I would love Israel to come over and destroy us. Fuck this bullshit, man. And like, honestly, until when? Because here's the thing, people. Uh, it just went to a point of Like, bro, 2023 is about to end. In like a week, a month, or two weeks. And the only win that I'm ever getting in my life was new games that I download and motherfucking AI apps. Wow. That's a fucking, that's a fucking win, all right. And in the last two, three days, I've had a sickness that almost fucked me up. I've had a sickness that literally had motherfucking food trash inside my nose. I'm dead serious. There was what it felt like food trash inside my goddamn nose pocket. And it was disgusting. Super disgusting and exhilarating to the point of 
killing. It could be even worse than COVID or anything that is related to COVID. And truthfully, truthfully, like once again, this teaches me and every single one of you to not, to not trust your family or trust anyone in this world except for yourself. And God, I'm dead serious. True life lesson, everyone. For those who are fucked up like me, never trust anyone except for yourself and God. Trust nobody except for yourself and God. That's, that's how, that's the only way that you will live. Because otherwise, or actually, no, nah, I, t- I take that back. Let me, let me actually rephrase it in another way. Trust nobody but yourself and no one else. Again, trust. Nobody but yourself. And that's it. No one but yourself. Trust yourself and no one else. Not even your family. Not even your close ones. Because you won't be, because you can't expect that even your closed ones are going to fuck you up. Truly. Trust nobody but yourself. Legit. No one in the world. Not even your family. Not even your grandpa. Not even your your local... uh, Gate man, not even your relatives, no one. I'm dead serious. Yeah. Trust nobody but yourself. I know I have been repeating this for a while, and I will keep on repeating it, because this is it. This is how my world ends. This is, this is where my life is going to be going down to, and I know that it doesn't stop going down. And I'm going down with it. So everyone, again, trust nobody but yourself. And that's how I'm going to end today's little speech.